Um, have you seen in my YouTube videos? Did you watch one? Do you have a joke? I usually get people to tell a joke in the beginning. Can you think of one? I, I could tell. Someone ask me a joke. I could tell you a joke, but it's my daughter says their dad jokes. Oh, dad jokes are good. What's got four wheels and flies? <laughs> what? Oh, I don't know. A garbage know. truck. As in, oh, yeah, that joke. My thought was like a car going off a cliff. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hair Tube here today with Caitlin. Caitlin is um, wanting to do what a lot of my clients ask me to do and they've uh, enjoyed wearing their hair short for a period of time and now they want to grow it out. One of the things I speak to them about is you don't really want your hair looking like it's growing out while you're trying to get it longer. Today with Caitlin's hair we're going to cut a shape into a hair that is probably better suited to growing out. At the moment her hair is a little bit shorter in the sides and longer in the back so we're just going to try and even that up a little bit i don't want to cut it super short but we're just going to try and get it more even so i can grow down um so it's going to be a bit of a cute haircut today i'm excited about that and with her color we're just going to stretch a root and tone the end she said you wanted to go darker i anything i've done dark would look really good dark. but i like i like blonde hair i like both but like it's why you you want to dye your hair black but then you can't go black blonde and it's just mm. I mean, I don't mind. Yeah, we all, uh, as a hairdresser, we've been there before, right? Well, I was blonde not too long ago. Yep. Never again. I'm going to start with your colour first. Okay. And then um, we'll do the haircut later. So I'll get Caitlin wrapped up and we'll pop the root colour on and then the ends. And then when you see her, we'll be talking about, I don't know, maybe some more jokes. Maybe she can think of a joke off camera. See in a bit. So before we stretch... Caitlin's root, so she doesn't look like she's just got regrowth. We're just going to put some foils in her parting. It doesn't have to do a lot, but we have to do some. Otherwise, we're not gonna break this regrow off. So the idea is that we don't um, just darken what's already here and stretch a little bit. We actually put some foils in to transition it to uh, grow out a little bit better. And then we'll, um, we'll do a toner on the ends. So first we'll put some foils through here. And for those of you who want to watch it, you can. For everyone else, I'm going to put it on time lapse. Uh, we've put the foils in, so you can see we've just done a couple through the um, parting, a couple here in the back. We'll leave them in for, well, until we can get them light enough. Uh, we'll rinse that all, we'll stretch the root tone in. Okay, let's get the root colour on. So we're going to stretch the roots. We're using Matrix Colour Sync 5N and 8V. So hopefully getting like a, a nice, um, cool, natural root. Now let's recap what we spoke about. I quite often get clients to come to me and say, I want to grow my hair out. Um, or I want to wear my hair longer for a bit, but they don't want it to look like it's growing out. So that was a conversation I had with Caitlin. So cutting something that um, grows out well, essentially the most important part for me is that um, the baseline's even 
and that all the other elements that you decide to cut into the hair, will all be it layering fringes or, or anything else, will actually grow out and work well. I'm going to start with a horizontal section on each side. I'm going to start with horizontal section to build the shape in the back. And same on this side. Head up from And once we've got our horizontal line, we'll go back and start using vertical sections to remove some of this weight. But I want to really build that strong shape first. Perfect. I'm just going to very gently soften the hair on the hairline. We'll come back and clean that up after. But I don't want to do any hard lines. I want these to be quite soft and textured. <laughs> On the path to find a place for us both to belong Stay on track, just needed faith for us both to be strong And all the stress will be erased at the end of the day Take my hand, we'll be okay Sectioned Kylie's hair off behind the ear. Caitlin, Kylie, we knew that was gonna happen. We had a Caitlin and a Kylie today. Caitlin has um, short hair, so I should remember her because I like short hair. We have sectioned it to behind the ear and straight down the middle. We're gonna work with sort of curtain bang fringe, but it's gonna be a standalone element. It's not gonna be blended into the sides. It's gonna um, be all by itself because we want to actually grow these sides down because the idea, as we've always said from the beginning, is to grow the hair head forward gorgeous. So you can see I've got quite a, a big triangle section there. It goes all the way back to the crown. I'm going to spin it to the side. And we're going to close your eyes, please, so we don't get hair in your eyes. We're going to cut this into a rectangle. And again, I'm not going crazy short with the bangs. I'm not going crazy short. Something that clients, it's a dilemma they're faced with regularly because they want to try something different and grow their hair out, but they don't want it to look like it's growing out. It's something I know I get asked a lot. 
Now we're going to take our middle part again and inside that big triangle we're going to take the leanest piece of hair in a triangle section again to just give it a little bit of a bang feel without the commitment of having big bangs. So I'm going to spin Caitlin this way so you can see now I've got a tiny triangle inside. This one would just make an inch or two and a little bit centimetres shorter than the rest and again a little bit of texture in that and that we will leave as that you around so I can see what that looks like. Just head forward a little bit, thank you gorgeous. And then head up. That's cool, so we just created this cute little shape. There's a girl on my channel, you can go back and have a look with this similar haircut, her name's Hayley. So, Caitlin, you need to have a look tonight. You would be easily mistaken, and anyone could be forgiven for mistaking you for Hayley's sister because you guys look so much alike, it's actually quite uncanny. Now we want to just get some height in the top here, so that it's like elongated and not triangular. We're going to take a section and we're just going to do some increased layering. This is very gentle. It's um, not as extreme as if we're doing like a, a shag or anything like that. Let's bring all this to that point. those both simultaneously into the middle so we can cross check them together right on top of that center parting they are good we can give it a little bit of texture while it's there and shake that out what we're going to do in the back is some horizontal layering first and you watch what I do I'm going to scoop forward Take some of that hair from the front as a guide. And we're gonna bring that down into a rectangle. Some people call it box layering, some people call it square layers, but effectively, or essentially you have a rectangle that comes straight down the middle, and then we just take horizontal sections on a stationary guideline, bring everything to that point. And then all we then do is when um, we dry it off, we actually take that, that uh, corner out so that, um, it works better with the ends, but it's such a small amount of hair, I wait until the hair's dry when I do that. I find uh, you guys who watch my channel know that I do a lot of cutting dry, especially the personalizing stuff. Okay, let's make sure nothing underneath now reaches that. Nope. Off. Just gonna use a little bit of smooth setter. I don't use it, I don't like to use a lot of product um, before I dry the hair, but because Caitlin's hair was uh, pre lightened before um, she got here, sometimes it can just be a little bit sort of wiry and a bit ruly when we dry it. So, this is just gonna protect it uh, not only from the, the mild heat of the hair dryer, but also it's gonna help it dry less fluffy. Okay, so one of the things that is really important to add to this is some texture. Just gonna use my croc, and we're just gonna use some free hand underneath, just to lighten some of the hair, and then on the top, we're gonna do the same. And I'm really enjoying the type of um, texture that the croc has been giving me. I've been using a, a little bit more than I would. Been, you know, pretty, on how I uh, texturize hair and I'm starting to open my mind and I think we need to try 
using different methods and tools sometimes I think it's really important so I've been experimenting a lot with these scissors and I actually I actually quite enjoy them so again we're just really breaking up this top we don't want to layer it too much as such we just want to actually give the hair that and the length that's there a little bit of um, room to move by removing some of that density Um, Caitlin gratefully doesn't have hair growing out of her cheeks and because we have so much hair in the back and not that much in the front um, we have to make sure that we remove some of that density so it flows and feels the same. That shorter piece, that shorter triangle we did underneath we can have it to the side if we want. If she wants to do it behind her ears she can but the whole idea of this is when we're done it's very smooth now because um, I've obviously had to smooth it to cut but I want this to be very playful and fun I don't want it to be very rigid in terms of the way it's styled. Just going to now go through and add some texture through the top as well. I'm doing that using vertical sections on the top. This hair is going to also fall into the front. So again, I want to make sure that um, we're using a straight blade because I just uh, find that it grows out far better. The hair that we texturize underneath with the croc. Um, and you can find those on my website if you want to give them a try. Um, that's fine, it's going to grow out. Um, obviously, if we went through and did it all with a straight blade, um, of course, it's going to grow out better. But because it's underneath, growing out is not going to be an issue. Um, I definitely wouldn't do it on the top, though, um, or in the front, especially. All right. Now what we want to do is just remove some of this bulk here. We do this by removing that corner that I said would be created when we did the horizontal layering, but it gives us a guide. It's there. That's the horizontal layering. I don't know if you can see just there in the front. Let's take that off. Bring everything back into that point. And then we'll be done. Oh, it's been a big day. Lunch was nice. You know, I had to wait an hour for it. What do you think of the hair? Great. Pirouette, 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 pirouette. So you can see in the book, too fast, too fast. We've got to see it. You can see we've laid the back, made it fun, spin back around to the front. Look at that, sass. She's already got sass. You look good. So it's like something that, you know, obviously, um, Kaylee can wear it out over easy if she wants. But this is like, makes it look fun and quirky and all of a sudden like, as soon as she pulls her back off her face, like, I love that. You look cool. This is good too, you got a good neck. Yeah, I really like it. Oh, you got it, she smiled. She told me she's not a smiler when it comes to the hair, so. What do you think? I love it. You look good. You like your colour? Yeah. What a before and after. Mate, right, you go back to the beginning of this video and have a look at the colour. Completely different. Bang some foils in the roots, just so I could blur it and um, stretch a root and just sort of have it like, um, not look like a GT stripe. We did um, 5M color sync matrix with 8V, half and half. And then on the ends, I just did 8V. So, don't go telling anyone my secret formula. No, well, no, just, no. just told the whole of YouTube, so it'll be late now. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Hope you uh, like this. Uh, in Solomon Hair Tube, it looks good. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do hit the notification button. And if you think you know someone who might like to see this video or could benefit from it, please share, it's important we do. Uh, until next time, it's see you later, mate.